Eric Magidson here with Central Oregon Community College. This is Lab 8 working with shares for the CIS 279W7 Windows 7 configuration class. Uh, looking through the lab there is a change that needs to be made and hopefully as you did the lab or do the lab you'll realize the change. Uh, first of all it has us sign in to NYCCLA so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. It has us sign in as Contoso Administrator with our password. So I'm going to do that. At this point, it's going to have us, it's going to take us the long way to computer management. And once this opens up, I'm going to just go ahead and take the shortcut that we all know by now, which is to right click and go to manage. And what it's going to have us do is essentially uh, go ahead and activate the disabled user account which is guest. The issue here is as you can see guest is disabled. The issue is later on in the lab it has a sign in as Contoso guest and of course that account is within Active Directory. These are the local users on the computer as you can see when we transferred the files for Alice and Ed those were local users. So what I'm going to do is go over to the domain controller. I'm going to log into the domain controller. And I am going to enable the guest user account on the domain. So I'm going to come to Start, Administrative Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. And right here is the disabled user account. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to enable the account. The object has been enabled and then I'm going to go reset the password to our favorite password. At that point the password has been changed and now I'm ready to proceed with the lab. So I've come back into the NYC CLA computer and again it had us do the guest account I'm gonna go ahead and and skip that and I'm gonna come and start the lab so basically I'm now at step 12 and what it says is to click down here start we're gonna go to the RWDC the domain controller we're gonna go into downloads and here is the Windows 7 Pro folder we're going to go in there and it wants us to copy the support folder to our C drive. So I'm going to just go ahead and right click, drag that over and copy it to the C drive. So let me pause this real quick while that finishes. So it's all done real quick. I'm going to go ahead and go to the C drive. I'm on page 78 now and it says in Windows Explorer right click the support folder you created on the workstation drive C and from the contacts menu select properties so here's that support folder I'm gonna go into properties and essentially we're gonna create a share for that so I'm gonna go into the sharing tab I'm gonna go into advanced sharing and I'm going to say share this folder and when I do that it's going to give it a default name of support which I'm going to say is okay and I am going to choose permissions so remember we talked about the everyone group and here's the everyone group it says to, uh, to select the everyone group which it is selected and take off all of the permissions under allow so now I'm going to hit apply and as you'll see that goes away because essentially we don't need the group up here given that we have no permissions for that group so at this point we're gonna add another group that group we're gonna add is the domain admins which we know is a Contoso account so I'm gonna go domain admins I always like to choose check names let it find it I'm gonna say okay here's the domain admins group under the permissions for domain admins we're gonna give it full control and I'm gonna apply that then we're gonna go add another group this one is the domain users group I'm gonna check that name there it is add that group now for the domain users group we are going to just do change and read 
So I've got those. I'm going to say apply. And then now it's going to ask me to add the guest user account. And of course, we know that this is the guest on the Contoso. So I'm going to say guest. Check the names. That should be the Contoso guest account. When I click OK, I can see it says Contoso guest. Okay, so this is not the local account because as you went further along in the lab, if you went to log in as Contoso guest, it would fail because you would have made the local guest account active and not the domain account active. So here we go. We're going to continue on with the lab. So now you can see I have the domain admins. It has full control. Domain users have change and read and guest has allow. So I'm going to say OK to this. I'm going to OK all of these things. And then what we're going to do is go to another workstation and we are going to log in as Contoso guest user. So I was in this as the uh, administrator. So I'm going to go ahead and log out real quick. And log in as Contoso guest. Switching users. Contoso WAC guest, our special password. Top secret it is. And say OK. Now once we're in this computer as Contoso Guest, what we're going to try to do is see if we can access that support folder that we created on this computer. So here's that folder and we've shared, we've created a share for the folder. Now that's key here, we've created just a share for the folder. So I'm going to pause this real quick while my desktop prepares since this is the first time I'm logging in as the guest account. All right, it's done logging in. I'm going to come here. I'm going to go backslash NYC dash CLA backslash should start bringing up files. Ah, oh, I've got something typed wrong there. Look at that. NYC CLA So there we go, whack whack, NYC, CLA, backslash, here's the support. So I'm going to click on that. And it comes up and says, you do not have permission to access this. So why would that be? Well, if you remember, there's two portions of permissions. One is to create and grant access to the share. But there's also something to do with NTFS, and we're going to learn that a little later on in the lab. So at this point it's going to go ahead and have me log out as this user and log in as administrator. So I'm going to pause it while I do that. So I'm logged in now as the Contoso administrator which means remember I have administrative privileges across the domain and since NYCLA is on the domain I can imagine I probably have some default disk privileges there as well. Remember, I inherit administrative privileges on the local machine. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go backslash twice, NYC-CLA, backslash. There's the support folder. Let's see if under the administrator. Ah, so under the administrator, I have access to the folder. Okay, so we're going to leave this workstation open. We're going to go back to CLA right there, and we're going to log on using the Contoso Administrator account, which I'm already in. We're going to click Start, and we're going to go back to Computer Management. So at this point, we're going to go look at what is going on on the computer. Okay, so we're going to expand the shared folders here real quick and we can see shares sessions and open files it wants us to go to sessions now I'm not sure why my computer is not showing this whole information but if you notice uh, one of the reasons it is is because I am logged in as administrator here and on NYC CLB7 or our B2 machine or our B machine whatever you're calling it I'm also logged in as administrator and as you can see I'm currently accessing that share 
So we can see that, that there's one person accessing that has a session open. Okay. I'm now going to go to shares and we'll let it refresh here real quick and we'll take a look at the available shares. We have an administrative share, a hidden C share, there's that X share we created in a previous lab and of course our support share. So at this point we're going to create a new share using this wizard right here so I'm going to right click I'm going to go to new share next and we want to share the C colon backslash users folder I'm going to say next we'll accept the default name we might want to give it a description We're going to select administrators have full access and other users have read only access and we're going to say finish. So at this point we've created an additional share. It asks you to take a screenshot of that so you're going to want to make sure you do that and we'll continue on with the lab. I'm on page 82. Step 1 it says in Windows Explorer right click the support folder you created on your workstation C and we're going to go to the security tab. So let me finish this. Okay, here's that uh, support folder. We could certainly open it there, or I could come here to computer, C, right click on support. And remember, all we did was create the share. Now what we need to do is give the NTFS permissions for the folder. So we're going to come into security here. In the security tab, we're going to add. So we're going to choose edit. We're going to add a group and we are going to add the guest account. So notice it's Contoso, the guest account. I always like to say check names. We're going to say OK. In the permissions box here, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. We're going to choose modify, which also gives me the right permission. So I'm going to apply that. I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and use another workstation, CLB. I'm going to log off of Administrator. And I'm going to log in as the Contoso guest user. So what I'm now trying to do is see, did I give the right permissions both in the share as well as under the NTFS permissions for the folder for the guest to now access the contents. We'll let this log in. We've already logged in. It shouldn't take this long to prepare the desktop. I'll pause it real quick. Of course, as soon as I pause it, it comes right up. We're going to come into start, backslash twice, NYC, CLA. Here's the support folder. Now when I click on it, I can see the contents of the support folder. So remember that as we create and share folders back and forth from either the domain controller, workstations, etc., we need to do two things. We need to create a share. In this case, we created a share at the folder at that folder level, and we also need to create NTFS permissions. So that's it for this lab. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.